Welcome to Proceeding Onward in America. PA! <laughs> so today we are going to make curtains. We already tried looking around um, in various stores and we eventually found some blackout curtains in Walmart. <laughs> We wanted to uh, pre-do everything just to make sure uh, it would work before we record it. So it is out of the package, but it's blackout panel. It's supposed to help with heating because we are getting ready for winter. Yes, winter time. And we'll be living in the RV full time in the winter. So we want to be a little bit warmer. So what we got is we got brown, brown little curtains right here. And what we also did was take off our previous panels and we lined them up. And the great thing about these ones is there is a bottom hole where we can put the rod on through. And there's also a top one. So in all reality, we really only have to really make another loop down here to make it look pretty. All right, because you don't want to see all your bad cuts. And then once you make that little loop, be perfectly fine. What we're going to do instead of having two little separate panels and we will make that into one panel to have it one across yeah we won't have the pretty separation anymore but it's going to be blacked out it's going to be warmer and if we have any leftover material i'll make the little little loopy loopy things i don't know what these are called i don't know if you could see it but the little ties and everything uh we'll make ones that match these panels and this lovely thing is called heat and bond. Heat and bond, doo doo doo. This is what we're going to use to bond the bottom of the curtain together to make it nice and pretty. So you have this little iron. I've had this for years. I don't even know if you can go buy this anymore, okay? I've had this since like college years. That was a long time ago. So we got this and this, put it together and it makes our bottom crease. Okay, so. Right here is our one panel that we have. It's about 25 inches. And this is what, like what we said, is we're going to have this as one panel across instead of two separate ones. So with it one panel across, it saves on cutting and bonding and just makes it so much easier and more of a blackout situation. And then what we did after that is we want one in the bathroom. So we went and got the bathroom one and then we laid out the other one up top. I know it doesn't look really pretty right now. And it all fit fairly well. Um, we will lose a couple inches probably, maybe an inch or so, when we fold this in because we want to give this one a little bit longer because for the middle section there is no second or there is no holes created for the rod. So we have to create these holes. So we want to give these panels a little bit longer um, so that way we have enough to be able to make our little rod holes up top and also on. We don't really need the rod holes on the bottom so it doesn't have to be as big but just enough to be able to fold it over. So with that in mind we will lose a little bit on here, but these are longer than the other table anyway. So what I'm going to use is a measuring tape and I also have a dry erase marker. So what we did is we put it on the back side. So this is a nice and pretty side that everybody will see, so forth. This is where all the sewing happen. So make sure you mark on the side that where you're sewing and all, or where the sewing marks are. So that way if you mark anywhere, Grant did his dry erase. Um, it should not leave any marks that people will see.
Okay. Shh. You didn't see me do this. But, uh, I hate these tags. All right. So, we got our three panels now. Whoop, whoop. So, this is, um, the middle one. Middle part of this panel. This one will be for Fabian's side of the bed. And I'm going to do, like, a little rough. I haven't done anything to the bottom. Just finished cutting. But I just want to give you an idea of what it should look like. Um, and so forth when it's up. So here goes Fabian's panel up here. And look at that. I'm making you still a little puffy up top. Oh, look at that fanciness. So like I said, I didn't do anything on the bottom. Um, when I do the bottom, it will come up just a little bit. So you will probably see a little bit of this black. my side it works out perfectly uh, just splitting it just having one whole thing across and then we still got this middle section <laughs> not this one we still got the middle section to do in the bathroom so when we fold it on over <laughs> it's not perfect okay <laughs> I am human uh, but once we fold it on over you're not gonna see that imperfectness and then it will also be for the rod so we'll make sure that we put the rod in to make sure the rod will go in. And then the other end will just fold nice and pretty. <laughs> so here is that middle panel. We're going to try this adhesive stuff to it. Uh, we're going to do the rod part. So I'm going to use two fingers for spacing. And then this tape, it's going to be where this finger is. So then you still have enough room for um, the rod to move around. Uh, this one, I might do a little bits at a time just to make sure that because my table's not big enough, um, it's too, <laughs> it has a hole in it. Um, if I just do a little at a time, just make sure that these are lined up to begin with and it should work out perfectly fine. I think that's creative. I took some random clips so that way it just stays there. Test the area with it. And then put it on medium heat, no steam. So we gotta, we gotta do a lot of ironing to it first. And then once you get it nice and warm and you're pressing it, then you put the tape in and then you press it on top of it. Hold on the fabric for no more than three seconds. That's an important thing. I think it's done. Look at that. Look at that. Yay! <laughs> okay, so we finished our side and the bathroom side. Um, we will work on the kitchenette on a different time because it is almost midnight and we're going to be traveling. So we did the major parts of next to our windows. There is my side right there. Doo -doo -doo. Look at that. All nice and pretty. Look at how great it turned out. Uh, I'll get the fancy stuff done later on. But it feels great. It looks great. Uh, the hem came out really good. You can even tell that was no so. Oh, I might have to do this part right here again. Um, but we'll touch that up. The ends were a little bit harder to do because it's too thicker. Because it's too thick pieces. It doesn't, it needs a lot more heat for a lot longer time. So I will touch that up later. Fabian just has to be careful. And then here's my side. So um, it covers the window so you can't see anything. Now let's go outside and see if we can see the lights inside. I don't know why you locked this in. Oh, I locked, I locked this in. I, but this is what our RV came with, with our curtains right there. 
And then now, with our new curtains, you can't even see anything. There is no light. I mean, you can see a little bit of light if you get really up close. But in all honesty, from a distance, you can't see that. Hi, Jaggies. Hi, my babies. So, yeah. It says it knocks out 98% of the light. Sure does. Okay. This next part that I'm about to show you. So Fabian's freaking out because he's so worried about it. Is I'm going to use a lighter against the curtain. Now. If you're not of age or you shouldn't be touching with fire, do not do this. And if you are attempting to do this, I do not, once again, I do not promote this, but it is an option that you can do if you like to do it. So fire on curtain, safe places, away from other things, get close enough for it to melt not to catch on fire if you do catch it on fire make sure you blow it out nice and controlled so for the curtain it's a little choppy so to fix the curtain i'm just going to use a lighter and we're going to fire melt it essentially just melt the curtain to make it look nicer rather than having all these markings so if you are going to do this make sure nothing's around and to be very careful just get close enough for it to start melting essentially not to really start burning just close enough to melt and you can also kind of frame it the heat will make it Go. Well, it shows how flammable it is. This is essentially what it looks like. It has a nice little sheen to it, but it's very flammable. So we finished the curtains and the bottom looks really great. And then to add more um, protection from the outside cold, we added our aluminum from last year that we used to have all the way around that ended up peeling our uh, paneling off. So instead of using that tape, we are now putting cut into our windows and then with the curtain over the top of it, it helps keep out all the light, cold, keeps the warmth in better. And boy, have we enjoyed it so far. So as you can see, they cover the light in the camper a lot more than what our other ones did. That was a great show of how much light was coming in. So we want to say thank you for watching. And keep following us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and don't forget to become our Patreon so we can make more videos like this for you. And comment down below if you have anything you want to add and subscribe and like that bell and if you like this video give it a thumbs up the more likes that we get the more this will reach out to more people so they can see about winterizing the camper and so forth for their winter so thanks again bye bye